Titans are back, bitches! Season 2, Episode 1, um, Trigon, which was originally supposed to be Season 1, Episode 12, but they decided to end it at Episode 11 to leave it as a cliffhanger, which I didn't think was a smart idea, because it ended anticlimactically, which we thought was, you know, a flash-forward to Dick deciding to go back to Gotham to stop Bruce after he just, you know, supposedly goes off the deep end from the Joker, um... Crippling Commissioner, Commissioner Gordon and deciding to just murder all his rogue galleries and in the process of trying to apprehend him, ends up killing Starfire and a bunch of cops. And Dick ends up killing him in revenge, but in, ter but in the end, it turns out it was a whole dream sequence. Um, conceived by Trigon in order to get Dick to become his... Embraces the darkness and become a slave. Um, you know, it turns out Raven's mother was actually in cahoots with Trigon and was using her to bring him back to Earth and basically bring about the apocalypse and that's how it ended with Dick being, you know, um, under his under his control. And it didn't feel like so much of a season finale, it was more of like a, a penultimate episode and I kind of wish this episode, you know, the show had enough confidence in the show to end it on episode 12 of the series. And you know, so if you're so anticlimactic, I mean, granted, it was, you know, a pretty good season. Um, you know, there's a lot of world, you know, a lot of world building. I didn't enjoy it as much as, say, like, Doom Patrol. And, but, you know, just from the, all the hype and the trailers they've seen, it seems like, you know, season two of Titans seems to get, you know, really delve into, um, you know, bringing in new characters at the same time, further developing the characters, getting more into, you know, the team working together to work against different villains. Um, besides Trigon, apparently Deathstroke's supposed to be the big bad of season two, just like he was in Arrow second season, and they're gonna do other villains like you know Doctor Light and Shimmer. Um, you know, and I'm looking, for, you know, um, I think like you know Starfire sister. I'm looking forward to it. You know, you know. I'm, I'm afraid you're grounded. What? No more magic. I won't let you do this. Let me. You did this. You brought me here, Rachel. Your purpose was to bring me into your world. The whole journey you've taken with your friends, it's all been to make this moment happen. I couldn't be more proud. You've given this world a gift. You never loved me. You used me. Oh, yep. sweet girl. Yep. This is so much more important than love. Just let him go. Look around you, daughter. All there is here is loss, betrayal, and death. You're running around the house? Holy shit. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> you want me to make bird sounds too? Titans. He didn't tell you about the second one? It's in a place she's never gonna find. Ew. Oh! Five? What the fuck is that? And why is it wearing Dick's costume? The new, new, one is new Robin. Robin. Who's your friend? Um, Hank Don. This is Cory Enders. She's an alien. What? Why? It's true. Could have put a little more love into that. What the hell? Oh, great. That's not concerning. It looks like someone's inviting us in. Invitation accepted. Titans? Yes. And me, Robin. Let's go. Um, it's a trap? Or there's so much care? To take over our friends, everyone we love. They'll be his forever. It's the only way. Rachel, this is crazy. Corey. Kill me. No. No. Kill me now. Do what you came here to do. Just do it fast. It's all an illusion. Corey. Corey! I'm so sorry, Rachel. 
You know, this isn't real. Dude, come on! Daddy! Who is you? You did this! Ah, Why did you do it? Why did you set the fire? Tell me! I can't help it. I like it when things burn. I'm sick. Arrest me! No. Okay, so Jason's probably not against using guns like Bruce. Yeah. Oh my god. He only killed Bruce's parents. You don't actually think he keeps it loaded. No. But I do. They become they became junkies or what? At some point, okay. Okay, that's fucked up. And this is the part where her eyes go black and bloodied. Everything's better than this. Good. No! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? He does have a demonic form after all. That seemed fairly easy. I found that foreign tea you asked me about. That's to go on the internet. We can't say for sure. All we know is that whatever Surrender somewhere. It appears to have been evaded by this new group of masked heroes. So apart from some dead birds, we seem to have escaped any significant kinds of back, bitches! Woo! I'm sorry, you were saying any significant. Right, any significant damage. So while we're still blood. Got it off best I could. Baking soda lemon juice combo did the trick.
How about it, old man? That looks a good suit. I'll be back in business. Yeah. Warren Appleby. So yeah, after seeing this, um, I can kind of see why they... I guess they decided to, I mean, besides they want to keep people watching, I guess this feels like there was a lot of setup for season two, but again, this felt like a season one finale, this felt like a season one finale for, for me. It, they should have kept, they should have aired this um, at the end of, la at the end of season one last year. Um, the Trigon stuff, at least at the end, felt slightly, I guess it would have, didn't, wouldn't, would not have felt as rushed, maybe if they were just, you know, aired this episode and the episode 111 together um you know it's kind of surprising how rachel is able to like you know kill him so easily but i guess maybe that's something to do with the jewel that he create that the gem on her forehead um being able to help like channel her channel and really tap into her powers um it's good seeing a little bit into donna's pat the pe the different pe everybody's past and donna's past Apparently, that's supposed to be going with the simplest um, Donna Troy origin story, considering it got so convoluted in comic, which is where her she was orphaned in a fire and taken in and empowered by the Amazons. Um, you know, I guess because you know the Hawk and Dove has been described as a codependent relationship is the reason why they have the same hallucination of you know, I guess just her using heroin to numb the pain and the guilt of watching a man die in spite of the fact that the child molester deserved it. Hank feeling guilty for, you know, having her, you know, having to, having, having her help carry this kind of burden and taking a man's life. Um, you know, it was interesting they didn't go after, you know, the, it wasn't a hallucination where they went after the um, driver that mur that, you know, killed their loved ones and yeah yeah i guess like the way they parted it just kind of felt like a season one you know how the group split up and did going to try to make some amends with um bruce and deciding to you know take um jason time under his wing because bruce apparently feels like he's more equipped to deal with you know Jace, you know, better trained Jason and make a more well-rounded well person. Um, and, yeah, like the little tease with Deathstroke and, you know, you know, they start referring to themselves as Titans and establishing, you know, the group had already, it, it, um, you know, further, at least further establishing the group existed even before they, you know, Corey and Gar and Rachel became, came onto the scene. And, you know, this, the scene with, um, I don't know, I guess I guess Garth was already I guess Garth already familiar with um I guess like you know the times were already public figures so he guess would have this imagine you know this um fantasize about you know everybody in their different the original times in their costumes and stuff like that. So apparently we'll get um Superboy and Crypto until episode six, and you know I'm just waiting to see you know apparently we're supposed to get like Rose Wilson showing up and. So I guess like depending on how the um, 
well, like I said, I feel it was a good episode. Definitely should have aired back to back with, um, you know, you know, one eleven, and it would have felt, like, you know, I felt like it ended on, like, you know, an optimistic note. You know, this had enough teases for people who still want to, you know, tune in. You know, they, I mean, they're teasing Deathstroke at the end, so I don't know why they need to have like a, um, a cliffhanger about the whole cliffhanger about the whole, you know, like last year's episode as a cliffhanger, but. Nevertheless, I'm looking forward to the season. Um, you know, let's we'll see what's gonna, you know, see how everything's gonna play out. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful and opt- hopeful that's gonna be. A st- a st- now that I didn't, now that I didn't hate season one. Um, it'll be like a step up from season two. Just step up from season even better than season two will be even better. So, what do you guys think? Do you think this made a good season premiere or a better season one finale for Titans? Your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys.